This video will describe medications and treatments for saltwater aquarium fish. Most of the treatments described here should only be used in a quarantine tank environment. Acroflavine is a first aid antiseptic useful for treating bacterial infections and providing temporary relief for a broken velvet. Ruby Reef Rally contains this medication. Rally is best used in a bath treatment at one teaspoon per gallon of salt water. Aerate heavily and treat for 90 minutes. Bath may be repeated every 24 hours for as long as necessary. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections. They can either be dosed in the water or administered orally. When medications are added to food, it is very important to use a binder, for example, Seek and Focus, in order to prevent the medication from just leaching back out of the food into the water. Antibiotics should be administered for the full 7 to 10 days, even if the fish starts looking better after only a few days of treatment. Chloroquine phosphate treats marine ick, velvet, brook, and uranema. Therapeutic range is 40 to 60 milligrams per gallon, so you will need a digital scale in order to weigh it. Treat for 30 days or 14 days and then a transfer into a different aquarium in a quarantine tank environment. Chloroquine can be difficult to obtain. Copper is used to eliminate marine ick, velvet, and trichodena. Once you get the copper level up to full therapeutic in the quarantine tank, you will need to keep it there for a full 30 days before reducing the copper. Alternatively, you can leave the fish in full copper for 14 days and then transfer the fish into a different quarantine tank. Therapeutic levels for the three most commonly used brands are shown on the screen. Benbenderzol is a dewormer that is used to treat flukes and intestinal worms. For flukes, dose 95 milligrams per gallon in a 12-hour bath treatment. Repeat bath in one week. For treating intestinal worms, you can dose fenbenderzol into a quarantine tank at 7.6 milligrams per gallon once a week for three weeks. Or you can lace the fish food with the medication for up to two weeks. Formalin is a very effective treatment for many marine ectoparasites, but caution must be used whenever handling it. Formalin can provide temporary relief for velvet, complete eradication of Brooklynella, and is probably the best treatment for external uranema. It is best to use formalin in a 45 to 60 minute bath treatment. Dosage is 0.6 milliliters per gallon or 12 drops per gallon. Aerate the water heavily and remove the fish from the bath at the first sign of distress. Formalin can be purchased on Amazon. Look for 37% UPC lab grade formaldehyde that also contains 14 to 15% methanol. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen, so wear a face mask and waterproof gloves whenever handling it. Okay, so we have a powder brown tang that we just got in yesterday. I suspect he has flukes, so we're gonna do a freshwater dip. I've already got him caught. He's sitting in salt water right now. We got our RODI water. I have had it sitting inside this tank in the same system he's been in to keep it at temperature. I have my air bubbler in there aerating it and we're going to set our timer for five minutes and time him exactly okay this is really easy really simple you don't most people tend to freak out more than the fish does about it but i've done hundreds of these literally and it's never that bad all right so he's in we start the timer now and we're going to cover it and we're going to watch him. They're going to act a little crazy. It's going to look a little bad, but it's never as bad as you think. You can kind of see where these little areas are starting to turn opaque on him. I'm thinking, and we'll know for sure when they start flying off, but I'm thinking those are flukes. This is really important for them. All right, you can already see the flukes falling off. We are at 
we're only a minute in and you can already see them flying around. They almost look like little white sesame seeds flying all around. And that guy is not in the in the in the dip, just so y'all know. <laughs> He's just hanging out, wanting to be a part of the party. But you can see him, they're turning white already on him. This is gonna be so much better for him. Okay, so I only have about a minute left on the dip. He's looking way better already. You can see the flukes flying all over the place. You can still see a few attached to him there. Let's see if we can focus on him. You can still see a few attached to him, but those will come off. They're already dying or dead. And uh, yeah, we just have one minute left here. And I'll give you one more shot of what it looks like when the fish is out and the water has settled down. Okay, so he's all done. We're going to pull him out. He's going to feel way better after this. And you can see why it's really important to do a freshwater dip on, some, on a fish that is highly infested with flukes before you do Prazipro, because Prazi is going to cause those flukes to all seizure and die. And all those, that large amount of them on the fish can cause the fish a lot of damage. Plus, yeah. Okay, and that's what they look like right there. You see those little sesame seed looking deals? That's flukes. All right, so now you know what to look for. You can see that it's not bad on the fish. Let's go and look at the fish. How's he doing? And he's perfectly fine. It was a little bit of an ordeal for him, but it's not that bad. There you go. Hydrogen peroxide provides temporary relief of some ectoparasites, including velvet, brook, and flukes. The 30-minute bath is done using USP grade 3% hydrogen peroxide available at most drugstores and even Walmart. Dosage is 20 milliliters of 3% H2O2 per one gallon of salt water. Post-bath, it is best to finish treatment in a quarantine tank using another medication like copper or metro. Hyposalinity, or osmotic shock therapy, treats marine ick and flukes only. It will temporarily suppress other parasites. The salinity is lowered to 1.009 SG for 30 days for ick or one week for flukes. It's a good idea to use an auto top-off unit and perfectly calibrated refractometer when performing hypo. Methylene blue is a healing agent which treats ammonia burn, abrasions, and cuts. It has mild antiparasitic and antibacterial properties. It will even possibly detoxify a fish which has been exposed to cyanide poisoning. Methylene blue is probably one of the best first response treatments for a sick fish. Methylene blue can be administered in one of two ways. First, as a 30 minute bath treatment at one teaspoon per five gallons, or it can be dosed directly into a quarantine tank at a dosage of one teaspoon per 10 gallons every other day for 10 days with water changes before each treatment. Methylene blue is harsh on nitrifying bacteria, so it is best to use it in a quarantine tank without a working biofilter if that is how you are wishing to treat. Metronidazole has a broad spectrum of treatment. It treats internal parasites or flagellates, brooklynella, and mild cases of uranema. It is best dosed in the water of a quarantine tank every 24 to 48 hours or food soaked when needing to treat for internal flagellates. Metronidazole is very well tolerated by most species of fish. Praziquantel is a dewormer which eliminates flukes, black gick, and intestinal worms. Prazi is found in all three products shown here. For external deworming, dose the water, but remember that a second treatment is required one week later. The reason for the second dose is to eradicate the next generation of worms before they can lay eggs of their own, because while Prazi does kill worms, it doesn't eliminate any eggs they might leave behind. Prazi Pro is one of the few medications we use that is generally considered reef safe, provided you do not overdose it. Internal Worms and Parasites Use one of the two powdered medications shown at right, not Prozipro, to clear your fish of internal worms and internal flagellates. Our recipe for food soaking either is shown here. Stir until a medicated food slurry has been achieved. Feed after soaking for 30 minutes. Refrigerator freeze any leftovers for future use.
You can feed this mix one to two times per day, but it's not recommended to exceed two feedings per day with medicated food. Feed daily for two to three weeks or until the fish's poop returns to a solid brown or green color, but no white. Tank transfer method involves moving fish to a new clean aquarium every 36 or 72 hours. A very basic aquarium, as shown here, should be used. You should have two of everything, tank, heater, thermometer, air bubbler, etc., as nothing can be reused for the next aquarium you transfer the fish into. After each transfer, you should thoroughly sterilize the tank plus equipment so that it can be used again in 36 or 72 hours. As shown on the screen, there are three different versions of tank transfer method. Standard tank transfer method treats marine ick only. Velvet tank transfer method treats ick plus velvet. Hybrid tank transfer method treats ick, velvet, brook, and flukes. The primary difference between hybrid tank transfer method and standard is two hydrogen peroxide baths, spaced exactly six days apart, are done in between two of the transfers. There is much more detailed information about all versions of tank transfer method on my website and forum. Thank you for watching our video. See links in the comment section below for more detailed information about everything we discussed. And join us on our forum for all reef aquarium related discussion.